With universal control, you can now use a single mouse and keyboard to move between your Mac and iPad for a seamless experience. Universal control is so incredible, you just have to see it in action. Let me show it to you now. I'm putting the finishing touches on an illustration here on my iPad. It's the last piece I need to finish a presentation that I have open on my MacBook. Now, I'll just set my iPad down next to my Mac. And check this out. Without any other setup, I'm gonna simply move my Mac cursor towards my iPad and the iPad automatically recognizes it. And if I move a bit further, boom, my cursor is now on the iPad. How cool is that? And now I can move my cursor back and forth effortlessly between the two. Now it's easy to control my iPad with just the keyboard and trackpad on my Mac. For instance, I can click and close this document and flick on my trackpad to return to my iPad home screen. Of course, I can swipe between my pages of apps, and I can use my MacBook's keyboard to open Spotlight and say, launch notes, and even use Command-Tab to switch back to Procreate. This is really powerful. With universal control, I can even drag and drop files between my devices. I'm just gonna take this drawing I finished on my iPad and drop it on the keynote on my Mac. Awesome. For our pros out there, universal control works with more than two devices. So let's add this iMac into the mix. Now I can use the trackpad on my MacBook to control my iMac as well. I can also switch to use my iMac's keyboard and mouse. And this is so cool. Watch this. Now I have a title text image I've been working on here in Procreate on my iPad. Now I'm gonna take this image and drag it across all three devices and drop it in to Final Cut, just like that. Let's see the final product. Nice. That's a quick look at universal control on macOS Monterey.